Hey, it's Tobin. I just wanted to give you a quick look at the Google Earth integration with the GeoPortal project. Uh, I've been holding off on doing this for a long time just because Google Earth plugin does not support Linux and that subsequently just gets under my skin. So you can see over here, we'll go to Google Earth integration and you get one of these uh, sorry messages. In terms of sorry messages, it's a very nice one, but it's still a sorry message. Not sure when it's going to come out for Linux. It's been in the works for a long time. Google Earth runs fine on Linux. OpenGL runs fine. Not sure what's going on there. But I went ahead and added it anyway. And it's part of the Google Maps optional module. So if you go into fault.htm, you'll see just comment that code. You will need a Google Maps API key because the Google Earth plugin uh, is not API key free like Google Maps, Maps version 3 is. So once you do that, it basically you're adding this little bit of code to it too, and it adds your uh, you know, your Google Maps layers and whatnot to the map, and adds these widgets for Street View and Google Earth. So well, there's a story of, of fail on Linux. See how it works over here. Uh, I'll just refresh this for you so you see it from the beginning. Go to Map. It's added a Google Street View and a Google Earth widget. You've seen the Google Street View before. See it zooms. And there's a Hal Marshall Center. This is where I be. Uh, pretty empty parking lot there. I'm guessing it's a Friday. You'll see as we move the open layers maps around, map around, it will pan the uh, Google Map or Google Earth plugin. We zoom out; it'll it'll zoom out here as well. So that's basically how it works. It's how it's integrated. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. And for Linux users, since it's not a core feature, it's just kind of an add-on. I figured, well, might as well do it. But hopefully, Google will get that straightened out soon. All right, this is Tobin signing out.